that cringy shit was. But I got something special for y'all. Special little treat. It is ugh, the unboxing of Kingdom Hearts 4. Uh, King, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 PS4 Pro. Yes, it's here. It's here, baby. Included with it is the Midnight Blue Keyblade. And, of course, a PS4 Pro limited edition original theme. Okay. I should have grabbed my box cutter first before I started, but it's okay. We got Ivy from Soul Calibur and a fig pen. I don't know why she's still here on my desk. So trying to figure that shit out. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, open this bad boy right here. Here it is. The box is within a box. Well, some boxception type shit. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, the controller. Oh, yeah, this controller is certainly glossy. You can see it. You can see the shine in it. Look at that gloss. Look at that gloss. Ooh. This controller feels beautiful. Oh, 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 yeah. Look at the joints right here. Okay. So not only are the buttons black and white, but check this out. Look at the D-pad. It's got a little crown right there. It's got a heart down there, left. Well... That makes me right left and then right. So, um, there's another detail that's really cool on it. See the touchpad. If I can get this thing to focus. My Xbox is going off in the background. If I can get this thing to focus, we got that little joint right there. You see that? You see that camera, fo camera focus? And you can see the nice little etch detail they put in there. It's got Swords Keyblade at the top. Of course, a crown here on the left and a heart on the right. Okay. So... Here's the console itself. Now we're going to go into full detail about the console itself. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, baby. First off, let's talk about how it's got the smooth feel to it. So it's got that smooth, smooth feel. You see the design right there? It's got the, uh, the keyblade cross right there. The keyblade's crossed. It's got this big old circle right here. It's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that glass. Like that glass stuff they show you in the beginning of the games. Uh, let me see, make sure I can get around it. I don't know if I'm circling. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But yeah, it's supposed to be like the stained glass. And it shows like the character on there. Everything like that. Um, this detail here where it shows, you know, we got the Way of Dawn. Riku's Keyblade right up here. We got Sora's uh, Kingdom Key. One of these might be Mickey's Key. I don't know because there's no color to show it. But uh, yeah, it's got this smooth finish to where it feels like it's leather. But that's just like a special gloss, kind of like they did with the controller. It's got like a smooth, smooth, like, gloss to it. It's really nicely t nicely done, nicely done, I must say. Thank you, Square. Uh, we got right here, the Keyblades crossed with the uh, Kingdom Hearts across it. This was their 15th, 15th, I think 15th anniversary symbol they had here. It's got Mickey's head down there at Disney, or uh, copyright Disney, because, you know. Ain't nobody stealing Disney from Disney. Uh, the crown there at the top. Uh, here's a nice little detail I didn't even notice before. So if you see right here. Oh, let me move it over. There we go. We got everything from the uh, different symbols and whatnot. So like the heartless symbol. The crown. The two. Well. Actually that's the nobody symbol. Uh, there goes the heart for Kingdom Hearts. And that's actually another nobody symbol. These are two different nobody symbols if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that. I thought this was a nobody symbol. Maybe it's not. I know that's the nobody symbol, like the the known one, Mickey Mouse, and then um, I'm not too sure. I don't remember what that symbol is. I need to brush myself up on this shit because I'm just barely getting back into Kingdom Hearts now. After Dream Drop Distance, piss me off. But yeah, that's the console right there. That's the bottom of it. Glossy, glossy P. We got the gloss. We got the P up here. That's just like a regular P etched in, and. Uh, yeah, that's the console. Um, let me see if I can grab the codes real quick. I don't think I got some digital codes. Unless, let's try something else here. They may have put it in here. Just to make it even easier. Well, it's not all over the place inside the box. See, not for resale. So I'm guessing this one. Let me see. It should have the codes in it. Let's see here. Uh, yes, it does. Okay. So the codes for the Midnight Blue Keyblade and the theme, all one code. You may just have to edit that out so y'all steal that shit. Just kidding, I'm going to use it before this video even goes up. You know what I mean? um, anyway, that's pretty much everything. Um, 
I'm going to blip right on over to getting the theme out and showing you what that looks like along with maybe some gameplay on the Midnight Blue Keyblade. Uh, we shall see. Okay, y'all. This is the part of the unboxing where I show you the background that you get with the PS4 Pro. It has the sounds of the game. See, you can go up and cancel. What I love about this most is the music in the background. Just listen to it. Just listen to it. It's beautiful, right? If only the, um, oops, sorry, the 1.5 and the 2.5 when I had this music, would be perfect. Because this background to me, kind of eh, it's the one that's on the system. I guess it's cool. Alright, y'all, here's the next part, which is going to be the gameplay. With the uh, Midnight Blue Keyblade and the Starlight Keyblade. See you there. Now I'm back. Um, yeah, here we go. So I was gonna bring in the two keyblades. I uh, I'm gonna go proud mode on this one, but if you're currently watching my streams, this is my setup right down here. Uh, Twisted Black Water Jesus, of course, is always in the description. Um, then you see all my other links down here. Those are also in the description as well. So. All the memories, all the memories, the chain of memories, as you can say. My boy going underwater, cause he's about to. Oh, I'm about to dive in. Trying to avoid that. Yeah. Yeah. And here's their fat friend, the boss. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, it's not a boss motherfucker not beating me in the beginning. I'm good for now. I've been playing King Watch for years. Don't worry. Don't worry about me, baby. Let's put my new blades on. Oh, they're already on. <laughs> That's funny. So you get second form M. Oh, so you get powered up second forms from each of these already. Okay, so that's that answers Cynical's question when he was asking, like, uh, what do you get from these two blades? Boy, it worked. I'm hitting him in his fat, even though I'm not supposed to be taking him. Yeah. Yeah. Feelings, what's up? What's good with it? Oh, you know what? I won't get my forms until after the. Yeah. Um, I won't get my forms until after this. So you guys have seen the Keyblades in action from the Midnight Blue, and the Starlight, and the Kingdom Key, of course, but that's the standard one. And uh, that's it for you guys for the unboxing. Uh, please do pay. Please do. Uh, sorry. Please do support my streams so you can see more Kingdom Hearts gameplay. I left off a of tangled at a. Um, cliffhanger so by the time this video drops I got the system on Friday today is now Sunday 4 a.m. Sunday this video should be dropping here in the morning of Sunday like later in the morning or afternoon or something um, thank you all like I said links in the description thank you for joining me 
and y'all have yourselves a wonderful one. I'm out here, y'all. Peace.